Hi beautiful angels, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you to my channel. I am doing an impromptu reading for the Twin Flames. I've already actually done a longer reading which is coming up next week and I've done a 1010 activation reading. And tonight I have a sacred feminine healing session. So there was absolutely no intention of me getting in front of the camera and checking in on the energies um, surrounding the Twin Flames. But this morning, you know, in that twilight zone, as I was just in the realm of waking up, I was getting, I was getting some, I was getting some messages in my, I don't know, med meditative state, whatever you may want to call it. And I was seeing birds and I wanted to tell you about this image. And if you're familiar with the chakras, you're familiar with the Kundalini or you're doing yoga, you may know of the Ida and the Pingla Nadis or the, you may see that serpentine cross crisscross with the snakes and, and it reaches up to the crown. You may have seen that, right? Or Catechus, it has that same symbol. So what, what I was constantly seeing was a energetic movement and I would see it in blue light against the blue light. I'm seeing this. So it's starting at the base. That's what it is. It's the Shakti. It's the Kundalini principle. Once it's ignited, it rises in and it merges in at the first chakra point. Then it moves over, then crosses at the second chakra point, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. This is a sixth chakra and the seventh being at the crown, which is like the snake heads coming on top of the crown chakra. And I started to see and then I, I didn't see a specific male or female, but to me, the male representing the masculine energy by no way gender specific, take what resonates, but that's how I relate to that. So I was seeing a masculine energy and I was seeing a feminine energy um, as, an, an, as an energy and they were connected. So, and then I saw um, a lotus flower right there and I saw the um, petals of the lotus, like it's an unfolding, it was like a white lotus. Yes, it was a white lotus. And then I saw a masculine and feminine like in an embrace, like in an embrace. And I suddenly felt the word union. Okay, union. So, uh, and there's a one specific image on this particular deck I use for the feminines. I do hope it comes out. And if I have time, I'll try to pull it out to show you that if it doesn't come out. Um, and it's the two of wands in this deck and they show in eagles. I started to see a lot of eagles. I started to see a lot of um, hawk. I don't know if it was definitely an eagle. I felt eagles and not just one, many. Just, just over that whole Kundalini experience that I was visualizing and I could just feel it. I could just feel it in my own crown and my head started to throb. I was trying to wake up. I couldn't. So with me rambling on so much, I um, have recently gotten this deck, uh, the animal spirit, uh, the wild unknown animal spirit deck. And it was a vision from this deck because I was just trying to understand and see. And I love the imagery on this. And I was trying to read the, the, the meanings that the... Um, the author has and she has like an amazing connection in here so it says here may you always be on your inner quest and i i saw this eye do you see this eye right here or this particular one so this was coming up to me in my uh morning i don't want to call it meditation but it was just in that wakeful space so i wasn't really planning on doing this i thought i'll, I'll uh, jump on there must be something that's meant to come out today and i'll do a quick video so i just did like a quick um quick spread so Let's do one thing. Let's just have a quick look at, I feel like the masculines were wanting to speak something. Definitely. I was feeling like the masculines were wanting to speak because I saw um, during that time, um, I couldn't see faces, but I saw figures. It's just hard to explain. And I could tell it was a man. That's what I, that's what I could tell. If you'll ask me uh, what the color of the hair was, what the body type was. No, I, I couldn't tell. I just could see a visual of that. So, whew, okay. Having said that, let's, let's just look at the divine masculine energy on what's going on in their mind space. Um, what are they thinking about? Okay. They're thinking back, I feel like that's what I'm feeling. Like they were thinking back about their past actions. 
uh, perhaps they have been untru they have been uh, untruthful to the divine feminine. See sevens, another seven. All spirituality, spiritual numbers. They've been untruthful about their true feelings about the connection for those who have met, and the heartbreak that they've either caused the divine feminine. Because I know that's what I was picking up on is the heartbreak that the divine feminines have felt where um, the divine masculine were not very truthful in speaking about what the divine feminine truly felt and meant for them okay what what are, what are they what are they feeling what are they feeling guarded i'm hearing the word guarded guarded why are they guarding their hearts? They've been guarding their hearts. Um, spirit, what is the divine masculine feeling in his heart space for his divine counterpart at this time? He's feeling a lot of passion. <sighs> He's been guarding his heart is what I'm feeling. He hasn't been able to share his, um, his true feelings and speak the truth because he doesn't again this is again a card of oh my gosh so many sevens um self-worth i'm i'm hearing self-worth i feel like they didn't think they were in the right space materially not that the feminines were looking for them to support them materially but that's what the masculines were thinking that they're not ready they're feeling like they don't have enough to offer this queen this queen who's intuitive um, who is uh, deserves the best i'm hearing deserves the best she deserves the best this ton of passion i'm feeling like a lot of passion actually <laughs> that was what was happening <laughs> in the morning because i was feeling a lot of the fire energy and uh, and i thought that the temperature in my house had gone up but my whole body was like heating up um and then i started to see those energy patterns and movements um during that twilight zone and here they know that this is a destined connection they know and they feel that it's a destined connection they feel that true they feel that this you're the one and I feel like this particular reading is only going to reso resonate with those people, with those who are on this journey, who have met their twin and, and they have gone through this separation and connection and separation and connection with all, all that that's going on. That, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling right here. Let's have a quick look at because these cards were wanting to speak like crazy. I had a hard time shuffling these cards. Um, the feminines had a lot of energy um, that was wanting to come forth. And I feel like, um, okay, here's that knight of swords, clarity coming in. I just want to see what the feminines are thinking and feeling at this time. Dear angels, I just want to have a look at what my beautiful feminines are feeling and thinking. What are the uh, feminines thinking about um, their masculines at this time, their divine counterparts? Um, I especially want to know today, 10-11, 10-11, a new beginning. When is this new beginning going to happen? There is this, is that going to be ever going to happen at all? She's exhausted. She's exhausted with all the back and forth. There's pain, there's pain. See, there's mirroring. There's pain and pain. And there is this wishing for this happy home. And there is this new beginning. New beginning. When is the new beginning going to happen? Is the Divine Feminine. Oh my gosh. Look at this mirroring. Seven and seven. There is, I, I am telling you, I'm just feeling union for some. I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't just say that. I wouldn't just get on like this and, and, and do a reading when I've already uploaded some of the sections. Um, very strong call for me to put out some messages. I don't know what's coming forth. Must be something for someone. And you are this empress. You know that, you feel it, you feel that regenerative power within you. You could do this. This has been coming up. This is your energy, Divine Feminine, and you feel in your power. And if at one point you're not feeling in your power, full moon's right around the corner, so consider this as a full moon reading. Um, 
and you're not sure which option and what should I wait should I do this should I not though know that a new beginning is coming for you this is going to end a cycle as ending for the divine feminines and the divine masculines it doesn't the wheel of fortune doesn't have to come in here for me to feel that it's been coming in almost all the readings what are you feeling at this time 10 11 1011 what are you feeling for your counterpart trust divine trust divine timing divine faith a leap of faith love wish fulfillment oh my god wish fulfillment this is your wishes coming true this divine counterpart that you've met is your ah, look at that look at this energy it's gorgeous energies we are we're thinking back of the past there is this trusting you trust in this connection you trust the divine you trust that this process is going on even though you can't see it so if some feminines need to hear this please know that trust this connection if you've met this person and you know you know that you're on a twin flame journey you know that okay i can't tell you someone else can't tell you if you know that you're on a twin flame journey then have this trust and faith that your wishes will be granted that yes this is your wish fulfillment like see you're wishing this is this is your wish fulfillment is coming true so it's right below that there is an ending of that cycle after the ten of swords your wishes are being granted for all the inner work that you've been doing for all those sleepless nights oh, what's, can you see let me see let me see if I can move this back okay cool got it I'll just move these a little bit here just bear with me I, I, I want to do a quick reading right now birds the message is coming in this is the spiritual so, so i'm feeling eagle as the animal spirit coming in from the heavens from the spirit world coming in and bringing in a message bringing in a spiritual insight bringing in a spiritual gift for the twins because it was a twin flame reading it was like a feeling for a twin flame and there is this love it is coming to you that's what i'm feeling it's coming to you it's coming to you you've been reminiscing about it you've been connecting in your dream space in you know you've been it, it's your past it's the past that's it's a past connection that's coming in it's a past connection that's coming in Whew. I'm gonna probably need to work out after this one I have so much energy jumping in and out right now there's so many messages coming in okay let's look at um, 1011 today that's what it is 1011 and I will just quickly post this up on uh, YouTube right now for all of you um, let's look at what um, what are the steps that the divine masculine is going to take towards the feminine with the energies that are coming in for the thought process feeling that love feeling that passion what are you going to do divine masculine what are you going to do now <laughs> now you don't want to talk you're thinking about the past you're reminiscing about the past and you know you've had these great times it's a, it's a six of cups same as here as a six of cups I'm not surprised and there is the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck as the bottom of the deck as as a reading up here so there is I'm feeling a lot of union energies there's the 11 11 there is the two of cups there's the full card there's a new beginning um, wish fulfillment the knight of cups uh, there's there's a lot of positive ones so it, it's coming it's 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 here in the cards for you but it's going to unfold in its own unique way for each unique person each one of us is on our unique journey um, what else um, what would you like what steps would you like to take what steps are you going to take in the 3d world divine masculines they have to bring things in balance yes they have to bring they're they're not the ones who are the ones that i'm connecting with the divine masculines are really really good divine masculines <sighs> okay how do i rephrase this without it sounding like they're not good i mean they truly no, don't like to hurt people and i don't mean just the divine feminine so if they've been deceitful they've really been deceitful within themselves and it and i feel like this is it hurts them that they've hurt you so there is that equal pain if they've given you pain they feel that pain because they know who you are they know that you're the one that they connect with at that deep level but all these fears of 
self-worth, self-confidence, not having, not having it be, be successful. And I think I mentioned that before too. They don't feel like they've made it into the world based on what the 3D world shows as being successful. They feel that in the heart, but they don't know how they're going to come forward and speak with you. So they're, they're bringing those things in balance. And I'm also feeling here, like with all these illusions, there was so much going on in their life. That's what I'm feeling. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm hearing right now. There was a lot that was going on in their life and they didn't recognize the connection for what it was. And they held on to the heart. Um, they didn't want to show their vulnerability. Uh, but now they're remembering all the good times. They're remembering how good they felt around you. And I'm also feeling, okay, so this is the connecting, they're, they're getting, um, they're connecting with their emotions. So they're connecting with you, Divine Feminine, on a deep level. And they're realizing what true happiness is. It's not here with the castles. It's there with the heart. This is what they've always desired. Certain mysteries are being revealed to them. As they're connecting within themselves, I feel like, yeah, see, it's right, it's right below the Queen of Wands and then I'm looking at the black cat. So they are getting intuitive guidance. They're being guided at this time to bring all this energy in balance and they're recognizing the imbalance that had been created, the 3D world created this illusion and they were, I don't want to use the word running behind, but okay, let's use the word running behind for the sake of it because my mind's not going to give the right words right now. It's, um, they were too focused. Yes, that's the word, focused. They were too focused on creating a material security, okay? Abundance, prosperity, financial prosperity. Um, that's coming kind of in balance right now. And they want to bring that in balance. They want to bring that in balance. One more message, please. Thank you. They do want to make that heartfelt offer. I really, I really was feeling union in my heart today. They really do want to make that heartfelt offer and gesture. Whatever that may seem like to your Divine Feminine, they do. They're recognizing, they're recognizing their own heartache, their own heartbreak, the heartbreak that they've caused. They recognize who you are and they want to make amends and bring things in balance. That's what I'm feeling. So Divine Feminines, my gorgeous Divine Feminines, what um, steps would you like to take? What steps are you going to take based on how you're thinking and feeling towards the divine counterpart? I feel like the steps is not wanting to come out. And I'll be okay if they don't. I won't pull anything. One more shuffle. Would you like to take any steps towards the DM at this time? Divine feminine. Okay, thank you. I won't pull any cards. I'll just leave it at this one. And this is my twin flame stone. So I'm just bringing that. It's the uh, stone from Lemuria. Lemurian crystal. It's the twin souls, as you can see, on the same base, growing individually. Uh, she wants this. The DF, the Divine Feminine, wants the truth wants you to speak the truth okay air element right there she wants you to speak the truth this one is not her speaking the truth divine masculine this is what i'm feeling okay i will pull one animal spirit message from this deck and i'm going to read from here because i am not familiar with this one but this is the one that was coming in my meditation at that time that particular i What guidance message do you have for the Twin Flames today? 1011. 1011. To move forward in their journey of love, self love. 
to deepen their trust and faith and speak their heart's truth. Stingray, I'm feeling too. And the whale. So we have the stingray and the whale. See, this is what I was talking about right here as the movement of Kundalini energy. That's what I was actually seeing it in these colors at every chakra point. This is the alchemical symbol for water water what i'm feeling is this whole emotional so they're in this in this energy of this emotional state well, this this is what it is the moon energy and they're bringing the left and the right brain in balance so your balance between the lower desires and the higher and a higher mind meaning anchoring in this material world, which is what we see with the eyes and we bring manifestation with that of the emotions and the higher and a higher goal and a higher mission. Let me read from the book for this one. Have a look at this. It says here, developing confidence, a sense of self or spine. I did say about self-confidence and self-worth. That's why I felt like this is the divine masculine energy. It says here that stingray card represents a pivotal point. Pivotal point seems to be the word that's coming to me again and again in different contexts in different meditations, in conversations. So in general, I'm feeling like the collective, those who have been doing the inner work, those who are getting closer and closer in inner union within themselves are reaching a, I feel a pinnacle and also a pivotal point. Meaning, if we've been avoiding or we've been doing the work, but we are now reaching at a point where we have to make a big decision in our life and we're not willing to do that, the Spirit is saying that you are reaching a big point in your life. We have to address that now. Let me go ahead and read this. So it represents a pivotal point in personal growth. The moment has come when the stingray must decide between the old, which is easy, comfortable, and familiar, and the new, which is challenging, uncomfortable, and unfamiliar. Pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again and again as the force of dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. You've got to move through the discomfort, Divine Masculine. You've got to move through the discomfort. That's the message from the stingray. I'm going to look at, interesting, right? Interesting. I, interesting is the word that I say, but we know that. Uh, that's why I feel like union is coming close for um, quite a few in this group. I don't want to say quite a few, for some of you in this group. Um, here's another alchemical symbol for water. So the Divine Feminine, let me see where is this, is also in the water element. I'm going to have to read from here, so bear with me on this. I don't know the page number. Okay. The whale. But before I read, just look at the colors in the rain on, on this whale. I feel that sense of happiness where I'm sorry, I'm not saying that the divine masculines were being grumpy, but that was like a grumpy looking card on the stingray. It's like ready to bite. And here is this whale just seems so happy and there's all the chakra colors and there's this I, I don't know, I'm feeling like a very um 
a good bright energy that's coming in up 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 from there and there is a whole purple our crown chakra so there is this connection with the emotional depth emotional depth both of you both the twins are mirroring by going in the emotional depths but here's the thing the divine feminine is the ruler of the emotions so she has she's now learning and has learned and has mastered that art of not reacting and if we haven't that's the process that we're getting into we're getting closer and closer in alignment to being that queen and to being in that empress energy where we know constantly how to get out of the ego and get into the space of heart centered okay so being free being happy um, let me go ahead and read this for you divine feminine the whale is the desire to delve deeper in search for profound peace and ancient wisdom interesting for it to come in one zero one one right one being the individual self and zero being the omega point and the alpha point creating all realities anything's possible so delving deeper into the realm of the unknown and 11 being the spiritual messenger coming in for the ancient wisdom hmm. just thought of that so the whale represents profound emotional health and stability whale Whales are not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrain as they have overcome many challenges in their lives. These experiences have enriched them, given them the stability, the strength and a depth that is rare. The whale energy is usually linked to the feminine forces. So this was, I was feeling it, it was for the feminines of compassion and communication. We depend on the whales whale people when all else seems lost and trust them to the to be the beacon in our darkest hours so the message from the whale for the divine feminine is to take regular self-care my dears and um as you're shining as as you're traversing this path and you're going through all these emotional depth depth depths and death Okay, if death has word has come out, then yes, all those ego deaths and, and things that you've ended that have caused you feeling like I can't go on anymore. It's time to take a little bit of um, uh, an emotional detox and know that you have that within you. You have this innate wisdom within you and you know that in your heart that this love is real. This one is real. It's in the cards. It's here. But this journey requires for us to be patient and to allow for each person to work through their karma and uh, face their fears. <sighs> Since I didn't plan, uh, let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a sense of still not feeling a sense of completion with the reading yet. So I'm like, don't know what to do. What I'm going to do now is... Let's look at um, what the combined um, energies are, are the union energies. Let me just find that. Let's just do that. Let's just do a couple of cards on the union energies at this time. Celebration requires strength. This is a strong relationship. We know that this is a strong connection. This is a twin flame connection. Can't be stronger than that. It's anchoring in the highest vibration of love. <laughs> It's anchoring in the highest vibration of love. The strength in this relationship, union energy, reigning in the aloha, aloha mind with the higher mind, that's what I always see, is our animalistic nature with our spiritual, allowing the spirit to guide. Allowing, oh, allowing the spirit to guide us at this time. And I feel the feminine it's, it's going to be something that's going to make you really happy. Really happy. Positive union energy. This is really positive. This feeling. Yeah, this I, I was waiting for this card. I said I will show you if it doesn't come out, but I had a feeling it will. This was the bird eagle uh, multiplied by, I don't know, 10 in against the blue sky that was coming to me in the morning and, and I saw wands and I immediately recognized that there's a choice that's being made and that's <laughs> preview of my <laughs> uploaded reading for the twin flames is 
the divine masculine having to make that choice and yes i can see that i can see that here so uh a choice will be made a message is coming in and i feel like okay i really feel like the divine masculine this one i'm feeling is divine masculine is going to get some sort of a message through this dream state through this connection with the emotions where they're going to get some clarity and i really feel that very strongly that's when they make a decision that's when they figure out how i'm going to be able to offer oh, i said this is going to be a quick reading okay thank you i will see out of this deck if there are any messages for union energies that wish to come out for the collective communication communication <laughs> i am in a very different energy if you come to my channel for the first time this is not how i do my readings but hey let's just go with the flow okay so communications coming and uh, card number eight, um, yes, communication's coming. And uh, and it's coming, it's coming in, okay, yeah, this is what it is. I feel two things with this one. I'm feeling like from this moon and this tingray and this whole realm of emotions, as they're like kind of swimming in there and, and getting kind of lost, I'm gonna make light of this, they're going to get this aha moment. And it's coming in from the spirit. So this one is coming, you know, straight from the spiritual realm. It's very, very focused um, energy that's going to come in. It's like incoming. Okay, you're getting an incoming message. And it's going to be like a boom, an aha moment for the divine masculines. They get that message and that's when they have to make a choice. Not that they said, I, I, I can say that they will make a choice. I wish I could say that, but I can't. I can't because it is um, each person's individual journey. Okay, rambling again excited <laughs> i'm excited because of the journey and the messages that i was receiving it was like whoa spirit didn't let me take a nap at that time <laughs> look go archana go 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 any more messages um sort of truth were you wanting the sort of truth you wanted this right divine feminines you want the divine masculine to come in and foo, 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 utter the truth tell me the truth tell me exactly what's going on i know it in my heart oh, the santa Ana winds are gonna kill me today so that you're wanting the truth here the sword of truth is here right in the middle this is the heart this is the heart this is the union energy it's coming there is this 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 is this is definitely coming i'll take uh, there is happiness and abundance at the bottom of the deck. I want to take one more message. Uh, one more message. Oh, another two. Not deciding when it's going to happen. So this is not a decision that can be made logically. I'm feeling like, again, this is the divine masculine energy. And the divine masculine is not going to be making a decision based on what you see in the outer world with the eyes what the eyes are going to tell you what the ego is going to tell you i feel like this one is as you close your eye you are looking in your internal world you're looking in your internal world right so your inner world your spiritual world the realm of emotions here we're not going to use our swords here and create a lot of mental chatter and mental confusion we're going to allow the emotions we're going to allow the we're going to allow the emotions and the spirit to help us make that decision that's what the decision will come in that's what i was feeling i was feeling that I'll take a final card if there is one okay thank you i said final card and we got two there will be an ending to this divine feminine there will be an ending to uh this anxiety but again i'm also feeling this is also part of you've got to allow it with all that has happened and maybe there's been long times of separation connection separation connection and then separation 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 ghosting running around all of that and um, they're not even sure if you're going to receive them back so that's also giving them a sense of um, confusion and anxiety as to how am I going to be able to come back on this uh, horse and <laughs> 
I actually, you guys are gonna laugh. It was like so funny. I'm like, I was getting all these dreams, and I'm like, what is going on, spirit? I'm like, wow, is it morning? And I saw someone coming on a horse, and I thought it was just very funny. Like, oh my gosh, like someone's just gonna open the door and really come on a horse, really, with a cup, and what's gonna be in that cup? Okay, so it was a little bit of a, a, a funny thing because I've seen so many of this in the terror. I'm like, oh, Archana, it must be. Uh, my logic mind was telling me that it, it's not what you're <laughs> meant to see but i think it is because i'm seeing like two okay preview for <laughs> next week's reading these cards some of these cards have already come in there so yes uh definitely i'm feeling uh you know a um, lot of 11 11s and a lot of there's there's a, there's a lot of activity going on towards coming towards union um for sure. So th I, I am sure that there is union in the cards for uh, some of you here because I was really feeling it very strongly. So I'm going to stop rambling right now and I'm going to kind of end the reading on this uh, on this note. And I hope that uh, it has kind of made some sense and brought some sense of peace and happiness and perhaps an ending to this. And you are this gorgeous rose, Divine Feminine. And, you know, full moon's coming up. Today is 101111 and I'm doing a feminine healing today. One of the things that I will be working on is working with the energy of Kali and that is releasing and actually it's the energy of destroying or death that's of things that are not needed and let and let that go you are this gorgeous rose and you've been waiting and you've been waiting and and know that you have risen in to be this if these heartbreaks and this strength that you needed to have to be on this journey didn't occur you wouldn't be this empress today you've been crowned with this because you have trusted the spirit and you've taken this journey it says may you always be on the inner quest it's because you took this journey my darlings that you are wish your wishes are going to be granted i know that how and when i wish i knew I don't I don't but we just have to trust it's gonna come with passion it's going to end this end this end of conflict end of sadness waiting for that right opportunity so that they can give you that you know again another two of cups to give you that no longer feeling that sense of when is it going to happen? Should I do this? Will I be in this energy? It's going to come in and rise. The Divine Masculine is going to rise in His power and come to you. He must. That's the only way that an Empress can't be with... It has to be an Emperor. It has to be. That has to be the right spiritual match. It's a spiritual match. This is a spiritual journey. So you have to allow for them to actually see this for themselves. This is an individual growth together, but individual. It's an individual growth of the two. I really feel there's going to be an end of all of this. There is this energy of coming and blending together. I truly do feel that. Uh, I really do want to tell you this and say that union is here no longer do you have to defend uh, yourself and defend your path because this is here for you in the cards a new emotional beginning and the divine masculines are going through this transitionary period moving away from the old and trying different things trying different things and do when you have that focus and you do believe that it's it's materializing it will materialize so visualize the divine masculine being in his state as an emperor as the knight of wands as the as the, uh, i mean as the king of <laughs> okay sure knight of wands too but as the king of wands as the as the king of swords as the king of cups as all of those all of those energies visualize your dm as that and that is the timeline you're going to bring into your reality that's the timeline you'll bring in and i know it's happening so i wish you a uh, tremendous love and um 
may there be union for all the twins that would be my heart's desire for all of you so sending you love and light this is archana uh impromptu reading um <laughs> there are new ones coming up next week so i'll talk to you soon bye